And finally, a break from the gusty winds that we went through throughout the day, but the wind we do have still out of the north. We did have to bear through a few snow grains falling softly through the atmosphere tonight, but other than that, a very fairly quiet view of a cloudy night here from our Valley Sky Cam. A look at your current conditions. 23 wind chill not quite as bad as it was earlier. Feels like 13. The wind is at nine miles per hour this hour. All locations still showing a north wind with decreased values from the earlier evening. Mid and upper teens across eastern third of North Dakota and generally low to mid 20s across much of northwest Minnesota. Extremely quiet is the radar as we head to bed tonight and a look at your hour by hour forecast shows that as we go through the evening, watch the wind direction do an about face and it becomes southerly. And when we start our day, the wind will be quite light. So these temperatures will well, feel OK. Around 20 degrees is what it'll be like out down in our southern and eastern counties and some mid teens up to the north. Now, as we go through the mid morning, the wind picks up and it begins to become gusty by the midday hour. 25 to 35 mile per hour gusts from the southeast out ahead of a little warm front that's located down here. That'll kick some clouds our way as we go through the afternoon but will also allow for temperatures to rise up in southeast North Dakota. We'll see that 35 to 40 degree range to the north and east of the warm front. We'll be stuck under clouds for the better part of the day. Gusty winds continue, so even though temperatures will be a bit warmer than they were today, we'll still have a cool feel to it for sure. Now, as we go through the latter portion of the day, there'll be a chance for some mixed precipitation forming as this system works its way through. So we warm up for one day and then it'll be right back into the cool pool of air for our Friday. 18 to start your morning, light wind in the morning. Midday winds become a little gustier. We'll have more clouds and sunshine throughout the day. I think Fargo has a shot at a 40 degree afternoon and then subtly cooling off into the evening. 28 on your way home from work in Langdon, 32 Valley City. And it looks like 40 degrees in Oaks with 34 in the Wapaton Breckenridge area. 29 tomorrow afternoon for Babe the Blue Ox. Okay, as we head towards the big Thanksgiving Day holiday, our forecast models out that far really not agreeing on much. Model number one shows that as we approach Wednesday, that big travel day before Thanksgiving, the cold pool of air shown here in blue, the Arctic blob, if you will, will be pushing off to the east and we'll be warming up. Well, that's what this model says. Let's turn the page and take a look at the old other model. And it shows a big Arctic air mass swirling down into the northern plains. And when you have pinks, it's not good. I mean, that's really cold. So we'll wait and see. I really think we'll be somewhere in the middle as these models will have a few more days to test things out. We'll keep our eyes on it. Daisy looking like those fields have, well, they have been uh, combined out there. Kim, thanks for uploading your sunset on the farm. Here's a look at your planning forecast. A bump in temperatures, but it will be windy tomorrow. Chance of some mixed precipitation on Friday, and we cool right back down with temperatures falling throughout the day. How about a look at the weekend? It's cool Saturday with some sunshine and we warm up Sunday and Monday as we'll see temperatures near 40 once again to start the work week. Then there's the mixed bag that will be out ahead of that cold air mass that will be approaching for the Thanksgiving Day holiday. We'll keep our eyes on that. Don't be surprised, though, if that forecast does become fine tuned as we get closer. OK, thanks, Hutch.